not in Christ, not in Jesus, but in the Lord. They stay put in the household to esteem them very highly in what? For their what? Love's sake, for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. There can be no peace among those that continually quit split, continue to split out of the household, making their little group I am a Paul, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, I am a Methodist, I am a Presbyterian, I am a... Nuts. There will be no Presbyterians in heaven. No Lutherans, no Methodists. The only people going to make it to heaven are those who are born again. Now, if there happens to be a Presbyterian born again, he'll make it. I'm not being facetious, nor am I being critical. God never saved a Presbyterian. He saved a sinner. God didn't ever make a Presbyterian or a Methodist or a Lutheran or a Roman Catholic. That's all man-made stuff. God got people born again through Jesus Christ. It just happens that somebody says they like to follow Johnny Wesley, so that's they turn out this way. You see, when you really work the word, boy, how far below par we've gone. In the United States, over 4,000 different denominations, they all call themselves Christian. Of course, the larger denominations call the smaller ones cults. <laughs> they just forgot that many years ago the Roman Catholics called all the Baptist cults. <laughs> and I tell you, John Wesley really got it. You know, they, they did awful things to John. They called him a cult. Today, the very people who were called cults called somebody else cults. A bunch of junk. When you're born again of God's Spirit, you have Christ in you, the hope of glory. When you have Christ in you, that sonship, that salvation, and people, the greatness resides in eternal life. Otherwise, he could have never put together Jesus Christ and Lord. Because when it's Christ in you, that sonship, because you've confessed with your mouth Jesus as what? Lord, as the Master, it's Christ in you, and it stays there because it's eternal what? which puts you in the family of God. Beloved, now are we the sons of what? Okay, now I, I, I don't want to walk that way anymore. I go back to my old cesspools of sin and iniquity. Am I still born again? You bet your life. That's why this word Lord becomes so prominent, to be in the Lord. It's wonderful to be born again. You're going to be in heaven. But to be in the Lord is to stay put in the household day after day and week after week. Just stay in put. Then you're in what? Then he's your master. Then he's your master. I'd like to close going back to Ephesians, please. Isn't that wonderful? Now, please don't misunderstand me re regarding what I said about Methodists, Presbyterians, Roman Catholics, Lutherans. Simply illustrating a point, you're not saved because you're a Presbyterian. As I said, there'll be no Presbyterians in heaven. The people that'll be in heaven will be born again people. Understand? It has nothing to do with whether you're a Presbyterian, Methodist, Lutheran, or Roman Catholic. Because I'm real sure that God's not going to have one section sectioned off for Presbyterians up there. <laughs> and another for us poor waylights or something. <laughs> Over here at the school, they call our kids wafers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shoot. 
Those that I, uh, Chuck buys for me, I like to eat those. They're pretty good wafers. I like to eat those. Ephesians chapter 6. When the greatest revelation of God's word winds it all up, and he sits right at the top of that pinnacle of all the great revelation to the church of the body, he closes this whole greatness of this revelation with verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in whom? In the Lord. Be strong in whom? That's where it closes. That's where it closes. The greatest revelation ever given to the body. Be strong in the power of B.P. Werewell's night? No. In the power of his what? See, in the power of his might, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, in his might. And then it tells you, if you're going to be strong, here's what it tells you, in the Lord, you've got to put on the whole armor of God. How can you say you put on the whole armor you don't even speak in tongues? You don't spend time every day studying the word to show yourself approved. Ah, oh, people, if you're in the Lord, you're going to put the Lord first. He's your master. He's party of the first part. That ye may be able to stand. Stand how? Strong in the what? Against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and what? but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of this darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness from on high, or wicked spirits. Verse 13. On account of this, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand, and in the evil day, having done what? Stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins, girded with truth, having on the breastplate of what? Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all taking the shield of believing, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the what? All the armor is that which marches forward, class. It's not something where you put your hand to the plow, and then turn your back. The armor is all up in the front. When you turn your back, you have no armor. Then you walk away from in the Lord. You can still be in the family. He's still your Jesus. The humiliated, the humbled one. He is still your Savior. He is still Christ in you because it's eternal. What? But you are not where in the Lord in the Lord. That's why he says, finally, my brethren, be strong, be strong. And the only strength I see in the body of the church is for us to be in the household, to stay put in the home. Be strong in the what? Be strong in the Lord. And I think those are the great meanings of the word Jesus Christ, Lord. Meaning of Christ in you, sonship. You in Christ, fellowship and walk. But as you continue to faithfully walk, you are in the household and stay put in that household in the home. That is the triangular household of God. At the top of that triangle, is the Lord, the Master. If you like it, left side, bottom, Jesus. Right side, bottom, Christ. Confess with your mouth, Jesus as what? Lord. Believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be what? For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And when you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord, the miracle of all miracles occurs, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And then you have Jesus the Christ who is 
the Lord in your life. That's the greatness of the Word, people.